Glory to Jesus. This morning I'm talking to you about the power of prayer. I'm going to talk less and we are going to pray more. Glory to Jesus. I'm going to talk less. We are going to pray more this morning. And that's why quickly I want to charge you on the subject of the power of prayer this morning. And I'm trusting that towards the end of this sermon, we would be able to pray this morning in the name of Jesus. Please, media, can you help me? Luke chapter 18, verse 1. Glory. Oh, this is becoming very powerful. Luke chapter 1. Come on, uh, look at what I'm seeing on screen. This is so powerful. I've not read it, but this is just very powerful. If you can join it with me this morning, you will see this. And this is the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. This was Jesus Christ speaking in this particular passage. And Jesus was the one saying this. The, Jesus was the one uttering these words that we are about to read this morning. It says, and he speak a parable unto them to this end. And that was the Lord Jesus Christ. And he speak a parable unto them to this end. That man ought always to pray and not to faint. Meaning if you are not praying, maybe that person is not a man. Maybe the person is another creature. Because Jesus says just that. And he spake a parable unto them. That man ought always to pray and not to faint. That the design of a man is that the man is expected to pray. That the way you will know a man. And the reason I chose this particular passage of the Bible is because it was the Lord Jesus Christ himself that was speaking. So it therefore tells us that the way God identify a man, the way God sees a man, the way God believes that this is a man that is walking on the surface of the head is through the ministry of prayer. So when God looks down, he wants to look at him and he wants to say, is this a man? Is it praying? He says, That's a man. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that was why Jesus said that. Men ought always to pray. And there are three vital words, three vital words that you need to pay attention to in this particular passage. Number one is men hot. Meaning that praying is not optional. Meaning that prayer is not something you do to fix problem alone. Is God going to fix our problem? Yes. I mean, scripture says that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be handed unto you. So God is committed to that. But the ministry of prayer was not instituted for that purpose. Because we have certain people that they have all they need. We have a lot of people that they have everything. They have all they need. What about those people? What are they going to do with the ministry of prayer? And that's why you see that most of the time, successful people or people that are successful in their right, they don't pray. Or by the time you see a believer becoming more successful, his needs are met, our needs are met, all the things that the believer needs, they're all met. You notice that the prayer life of the believer starts dwindling. The reason is because a lot of us have believed that prayer is an intervention mechanism. But no, prayer is not an intervention mechanism. Prayer is not what you do to intervene uh, for a particular situation. Prayer should be a lifestyle. And that's why the Lord Jesus Christ was saying that men ought always to pray. The creator called man is expected to pray. The creator called man is supposed to be dedicated to the ministry of prayer. Because that's the way you know that he's a man. And it's the Lord Jesus Christ that is saying this. And I'm saying this to help you understand that if we don't value prayer in our generation, what would happen is that we would not be able to bet the realities of God. We would not be able to bet the intent and the desires of God. Because if all the things we want to use prayer to do is just to meet our needs, it's just to meet things in our life, we would miss out on the purposes and the plans of God. And that's why one of the very things you need to understand that. And this morning is this. God committed the ministry of prayer to man because it's very important for man to pray on this planet earth. You know, every one of us, we are very acquainted with this saying that says that the spiritual controls the physical. And that law, that principle, that sentence, it's very correct. Anywhere, anytime, any day. But I can also tell you, there is something you do in the physical that can move the hand of the spiritual. There is something you will do here that will cause deities, that will cause evil to open their gate and look at, and look at you and pay attention to your life. There is something you can do here. One of such things is the ministry of prayer. Listen to me, great people of God. Listen to me, great people of God. You see, on this earth, God gave man the license to operate. 
There is no being that can have access on this earth if man does not permit the being, including God. I'll take that again. There is no being on this earth that can have access except man permits that being to have access. And that was why the devil himself, he knew that you need, I need access from Adam to get into the head. And that was why he had to deceive Adam and collect that right from Adam for Adam to operate. But thanks be to the Lord Jesus Christ because he has won the battle and hand over the key back to us and the authority back to us. But I am still telling you that you have the authority and you have the power to grant access to any being to operate on this head, including God. Including God. So God cannot do something on this earth except you permit it. God cannot operate on this earth except you permit him. Do you know why? God made the Lord that way. He made it that way. This earth, he has given to the son of man. And he made it that way because he wants you to be in charge. And that was why God instituted the principle and the ministry of prayer. So that as you constantly journey in the ministry of prayer, you can constantly give God access to work on this earth. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. You see, when you are not praying, what you're doing is that you are preventing God to do what he should do. This morning, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about the prayer that fixes need. I'm not talking about the prayer that fixes things that fix this and that. No, that's not what we are doing. We, as believers and Christians, we need to come to a level where we understand that prayer was initially instituted for us to grant access to God on this earth. Because there are a lot of stuff that God wants to do, except you permit Him, God cannot work. No wonder the, the writer says that if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is no man to pray. There is no God to answer. That's it. Man is very powerful. See, believers, can I tell you this this morning? You must understand what, it is called, what is called man. Man is not just an ordinary being that has flesh, that has two eyes, two hair, that has waves on his head, that has beards and all that. No, that's no man. Man is beyond that. Man is very powerful. And that was what the devil was trying to get. That was the level. That was the position. The devil was trying to access. And that's why he's angry. No wonder the psalmist said, what is man? That thou were mindful of him. There is something about man. There is something about man. There is something about God gave him. Oh, Jesus Christ. If you know the amount of power and authority that God has given to you as man. If you know it, there are some things that shouldn't be happening in your life. There are some things that should not be happening around you. If you understand what is called the entity called man. And God is saying, as man, the way you operate, as man, the way you give me permission to operate on your behalf is to pray. Is to legislate in the place of prayer. Grant me access. So prayer is like you giving God an invitation card to operate on your behalf. If you don't hand over the invitation card to him, it will never have access into your life or your environment or your atmosphere. So prayer is not just to fix it. The reason I'm saying all of this thing is because there are things God wants to do on earth that he needs you to grant him permission. He needs you to grant him access. Ah! There are things God wants to do. Listen to me, great people of God. The Christianity we all seek to enjoy today was baited on the altar of prayer by some people. If those people did not pray all of these things out, many of us would not be seated here. The Christianity we enjoy today, some people prayed it out. There were men in the United States that knelt in the snow, pray. His intestine shifted. Home because of revival and the gospel to get to the ends of the heads. So there is much more God wants to do with your prayer than just fixing your need. He's going to do that. He's good at doing that. He's going to fix that. But that's not the original purpose of prayer. Praise the name of the living Jesus Christ. And that's what I'm going to tell you, number one. What happens when you pray? What happens when you pray? When you pray, number one, the prayer will transform you first. A prayer that cannot transform you cannot transform a generation. A prayer that cannot fix you cannot fix anything. One of the instrument God has designed for us in this Christendom for us to grow, for us to metamorphose, for us to become a better version of ourselves is the ministry of prayer. 
As you journey in the ministry of prayer, as you come into the place of prayer, you are changed. You are metamorphosed into becoming a different person, a different version of yourself that will yield to the purposes and the plans of God. So prayer transforms you first. Prayer changes you first. Prayer brings the higher version of you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tell me, what's the latest iPhone we have right now? What's the latest iPhone? I don't want to bring out my phone. I don't want to bring out my phone. Glory to God. No, 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 no. Because right now, if it has two highs, three highs, that's the way we... But what's the latest iPhone that we have right now? 15 Pro Max. 15 Pro Max. It's a Pro Max. It's a Pro Max. It's Pro Max and it has a Pro problem. Oh, my God. But see, the function of iPhone 14 is not a function of iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's different. iPhone 15 Pro Max is a higher version of iPhone. Both of them have iPhone. But what iPhone 15 Pro Max can do, iPhone 13 cannot do it. The reason you are not betting some realities in your life is not because you cannot do it. It's because you have not been upgraded. It's because Christians have not been upgraded. Listen to me. You can be a fine boy and chase the devil. You can be a fine boy and chase the devil. And that's why I love our best as we pray, we, we pray anyhow. And yet we take demons. I don't say Pastor Balaji. I'm some good, good looking. Yet chasing demons anyway. Online, online, not physical. You speak to a demon to come out online, online, online. Even, even IG responds to the power of God. Oh, Jesus. The thing, listen to me, great people of God. I'm not trying to psych you. I'm trying to help you to become a better version of yourself. Because until you are upgraded, you can never achieve some things. Look at the life of Moses. When Moses got to the Red Sea, he used a stick to part Red Sea. When Elijah got to Jordan, he used his cloth to part Jordan. When Moses got to the river, he looked at them. My God, I'm not going to do what this guy said. I'm just going to walk on waters. The man walked on waters. He walked on waters. He walked on the water. The reason is that there is a better version of you. There is a better, there is a better part. Of, only if you can pray. Only if you can join in the place of prayer. There is a better version of you. Ah, oh my God. Listen to me. And Christians, you cannot just be casual. Because a lot of people come to the same workplace that you go to every day. And they come with different things. Forget. Forget all of this. Forget all of this. TikTok. Instagram. And all of these things. People are delving into things that are wrong. People are delving into, into powers, wrong things. Using things to oppress people at their place of work. But a lot of Christians walk casually into those offices. Casually. Casually. And that's why I'm saying to you that. The prayer will change you first. It will transform you first. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Scripture says, Be ye not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that which is the acts. No, no. That we may prove that which is good, acceptable, and perfect will of the Lord. I'll take it again. That you may prove that which is good, acceptable, and perfect will of the Lord. That you may prove that which is G, good, A, acceptable, P, and perfect will of the Lord. The gap in your life is because you are not praying. G, A, P. The gap a lot of people have in their life is because you are not praying. If you pray, a good version of you will come out. An accepted version of you will come out. A perfect version of you will come out. So you will not just say prayer as an intervention mechanism. Listen to me. If a believer turns prayer to an intervention process or intervention mechanism or intervention policies, you will, the believer will spend his or her life trying to correct what the devil has done. But there is someone that lives consistently in the realms of prayer. There is someone that stays consistently in the realms of prayer. That the devil sees the person. The devil cannot even come closer. So, do you want to continue with your life correcting what the devil has done? Or do you want to continue with your life that the devil cannot even penetrate into your life? And beyond that, there are many things you can do on it. Beyond that, there are many things that God wants to do through us on earth. And that's why you must be willing in the place of prayer to offer yourself as a sacrifice, to offer yourself as someone that will yield to God, to offer yourself as someone that will pray, that will pray to God and cause things to happen. Glory to Jesus. A woman in the Bible, 
Anna by name. She's been going to Shiloh every year. Every year. Going to Shiloh every year. Praying for a child. Praying for a son. But it, it never happened. Oh, how do I want to tell you? The way God reasons is not the way man reasons. The ways of God are extremely different from the ways of man. The woman was praying to God so that she can have a child and use the child to prove to the neighbor and say that, ah, I'm not barren. I can also carry my child. But God says that my purposes are beyond that. Why do you want to get married? So that you can tell people that there is nothing wrong with you. No! Why do you want to have a child? So that you can prove to your community, you can prove to everybody that you're not barren. No! That's not the reason God wants you to have a child. In the first service, I told them, Scripture says that her children are the heritage of the Lord, as arrows are in the hand of the mighty. So you are a caretaker. God is the one of the children. So when God looks at the head, he wants to fix a purpose. He wants to fix a problem, rather. He wants to fix a condition. He looks at his quiver and pull out an arrow. The arrow at the children. He fires the arrow into a particular family. And it's hoping that that family will nurture that child to become that very thing that can solve that purpose. But most of the time, a lot of family cannot give birth to the reality that should come out of those children. Because we are not given to prayer. You don't nurture the destiny of your children in the place of prayer. You don't nurture it somewhere out of a child. Anna looked at God that day. At Shiloh, she said, Lord, give me a son. I'll give him back to you as a prophet. God said, hey. God said she entered, she entered, she entered, she entered, she entered purpose. She entered, she entered, she entered. He said, Gabriel, come, 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 Michael, come. Give me a son and give it back to you as a prophet. Because God needed the prophet at that time. God said this one is sealed because this one has entered purpose, not just selfish aggrandizement. No wonder. Samuel remains one of the relevant prophets in the Bible that you cannot do without when you talk about Bible. But the child came late. Prayer! Listen to me, great people of God. This generation, we have to be very careful. Our parents handed over prayer to us. Our prayer, our parents, they not taught us with prayer. Some of our parents, they don't have access to all of these things. They don't have access to screen. They don't have access to the message, TPT, and all of this. Thing. But they furnish every one of us out with prayer. But yet we are today. iPad, that's what we are giving to our children. iPad, laptop, TikTok. That's what we are giving to our children. Everybody is quick to say something about something. Everybody has freedom of speech. It's quick to say something about something. Because we have an environment that allows everybody to say something. Not forgetting the fact that there is something that God has handed to us. It's called the ministry of prayer. Now when things go goes wrong in the land, you, as a child of God, you should be able to discern that this thing is not normal. They are attacking your child. It's not normal. Instead of you to jump on a trend or jump on something, you will go back to the place of prayer and correct things internally. You correct things on your knee. You correct things in the place of prayer. And everybody, you know, right now, everybody is fighting everybody. The whole generation is fighting the new generation. The new generation is fighting the whole generation. Everybody has, everybody is talking about everybody's flaw. That's the way you trend. That's the way you go viral. And it's very demonic. It's very demonic. Don't you understand that this time is a critical time in the prophetic destiny of our nation? And the devil knows that the way to crumble the, the prophetic nature or the prophetic destiny of a country is to cause the house to be divided against itself. Because he knows that a house divided against itself cannot stand. So we keep fighting as a fighter, the fighter, the fighter, the fighter, the fighter, the fighter, the fighter, But there are men that will join in the place of prayer to correct things. There are men that will pick up their children at night. There are men that will wake up at night, look at their children. You will command, you will, you will shape their destiny. You will shape their life. When the child gets to tertiary institution, the child wants to go wrong. The prayer you have invested in the life of the child, it will direct, it will reroute, reroute like Google Maps. We reroute, reroute the child back. So that the child can beg the purposes of God. What happens when we pray? 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What happens when we pray? Prayer sharpens your discernment. Prayer sharpens your discernment. Your ability to know the difference between good and evil. It is prayer that will give you that, 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 that ability. It is prayer that will give you that ability. It sharpens your discernment. Let's read. Oh, thank you. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 11 to 12. Glory. Media, help me quickly. Prayer is not a gift. It is cultivated. Listen to me. Don't say something that some people have the gift of prayer. Prayer is not a gift. It is cultivated. A cobra suspect, leisure, locked up in You cultivate. The apostle says, we cannot be tending to tables and forsake the ministry of prayer and the world. It's important. Le kosha brante lizos padila. I am I ele paro santo de caba e ele covrande chapatana ah ela covrele chande talos ah 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 ele covrene sus pacadila o sus pilaja listen to me Ele chando kovani na zuzu le kadina. She rate kompele mene na na dona. Listen, church is not just a social gathering. No. It's a place you contact God. It's a place you contact God. As you are seated here, there are things dropping on you. There are things. Listen to me. For we have not come to Mount Zion. He said, "We, he said, we have come to Mount Zion, the city of the Lord." Where we have the companies of numerous angels. When you gather in church, you are gathering with numerous angels. When you gather in church, you are gathering with numerous angels. So what I am doing is I'm activating possibilities around your life. I'm activating the atmosphere around your life. The way you activate them is through the ministry of prayer. I'll tell you that. Prayer sharpens this hands. Look at that. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Jeremiah, what see it down? And I said, I see a rod of an ham on three. Hear what God said to him in verse 12. Say, then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast seen well, for I will hasten my word to perform it. Meaning that it's possible for you not to see well. Prayer is that ministry that allows you to see well. See, it's a lower level for you to identify good and evil. There is another higher level. You are identifying good from almost good. This is why a lot of female, a lot of male are getting into the hands of wrong people. The reason is that you are not furnishing yourself with what can give you the right man. You are concentrating on external aesthetic. You are concentrating on external aesthetic. And which is great, perfect, nice. But see, what we support and feel your external aesthetic is that there is, a, there is an engine on the inside that powers the outside. There is an engine. There is a content powering the container. Listen to me. The light you see in this place, the light you see in this place, the light you see in this place, they have potential to shine. They have potential to give light. The screen has potential to harm. All of these things. But if you don't power the generator that supplies this light, this thing is not going to function. That's the way so many Christians are. There is potent energy on the inside of you. There is dunamis on the inside of you. But you don't constantly, you don't constantly set it on fire with your generator. Your generator is the ministry of prayer. Your generator is the ministry of prayer. Elemakora Prasendo de Mashanda Badera. Ela prastovila shanda kopra dilema. 
Elasos pegada brandy mashanda bakomida. Elados kofroteli bade honde shabratino. O kovrendila sos koto tome candela bilandostela. Ero kopate de bena makone shantola. Ero kiko pala sento kila brandy mesha liquify la clus de brena. Elepratus petile meshana badaba. Fire take only brandy meshana. Fire moving heko tele meshana. It's turning your feet, making your feet to become another feet. Making your feet to become another man. Elexos palisha. I see the speed of the spirit huh, turning you into another man. And let go practice for Telasha. I go to 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 me la desha. I la 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 ba keno. I let shako pratena. I let tondo tomana. Aha shako tembana. I let go pratena. I let pande shantena. I look to 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 manka pratena. I shantena na kuba. I rati titi let to pele shana. I go tempele sondo. I pele sos patina. Ah, shut it on. Eko to 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 na. E raba ba ba kaya da da da. Ah, shele na da 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 da. Ah, kamba to do ba kona. Ah, raba ba. Ah, raba ba. Ah, raba ba ba. E la shako pate na toma. Ah, shaka to to to. E la tanda mama kona mama sh. Ah, yaba mama. Give me one minute. Listen to me, great people of God. There is something you can touch in God that will make the world to touch you. Oh my God. There is something you can touch in God that will make you a point of attraction to the world. Aleka Baba Shandela Bada Mama Jada. If you get the face of God, God will put you in the hand of men. The hand of men will be open to you. The hand of men will be constantly open to you. There is something you can touch in God. That is what prayer does. Prayer gives you encounters. Prayer gives you encounters. Encounters of the spirit that cause you to journey in the realm of the spirit that cause you to see things that cause you to see the future that cause you to have convictions that solidifies your Christian experience. I see God giving encounters to people right now. All over this place. All over this place. Encounter of the Spirit. All over this place. Encounter of the Spirit. You want to stand up and pray. Encounter of the Spirit. You want to stand on your feet and pray. Encounters of the Spirit. From the puppy to the pit. Encounters of the Spirit. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Give me one minute, sir. Let me show you something. As I show you this in the Bible, pay attention to what will happen to you. Some of you, something will jump on you now. As I show you in the Bible, just pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Because what we have right now, the accomplice of angels joining with us. Media, please, can you help me? First John chapter 1. Araketoskopena. First John chapter 1 from verse 1. Look at this, look at this. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen, with our eyes, which we have looked upon, oh, and our hands have handled of the word of life. There is something you can handle in the realm of the spirit that can change the trajectory of your life. I ask right now, let there be a release, let there be a release, let there be a release of pressures, possibilities in the realm of the spirit upon everyone ah, let the fire let the fire I cut this candela mansion I increase the fire here yeah. Holy Ghost I increase the fire here yeah. I increase the fire here yeah. all over all over all over all over mentos patasia I increase the fire here in a shandad a couple as a little tana ratatata shela bada shela mama rati kopena yes so padena let the fire increase. Shaya, Shaya, Rata, Ratan, Rakadada, Elana, Nakadia, Dababas, Rabada Bakoda, Elana, I see addictions. Addictions falling off, addictions falling off, addiction falling off. 
Ay, 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 Addiction falling up. Addiction falling up. Addiction falling up. Right now. Right now. Right now. At the count of three. At the count of three. Let the fire of revival fall upon everyone. Are you ready? 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 One, two, three. Holy Ghost. Let's shut up, shut up. Let your fire descend. Let your fire descend. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Take it, take it, take it. That's just the whole body. Take the fire. 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 To the back. To the back. To the back. Take the fire. Ah, yeah, 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 Baba Kedadash. Ella Palandosha. Listen to me. Listen to me. You thought you came to church, but you came to meet destiny this morning. There are possibilities of the spirit that I want to open you up to right now. There are gifts of the spirit that will be released now. The gifts of prophecy, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, the gifts of healing. Now, Holy Spirit, I ask to open up your children to these possibilities now. I have now have the count of three. Have the count of three. Let the spirit of prophecy break out here. I talk to so plan One, two, three. Now I shake up today. All over, all over. Are you? Where are you? Until my only guess is you. Spirit, keep Spirit keep brooding over me till I look more like you. Can you carry on, sir? Listen to me. Hey. It's not business as usual. I cut this container. A shot patina. Ara te 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 ke palaba. A shepere me ne pe ne masha. Ah, shada baba. Ayo, can you come, 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 come? Ele te ne pe masha ne. Ero to 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 to. La kati sumba ya. A shot patina na. E kati te 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 na. Ela panaba kana. Ada masha nda baba. Kada baba masha. Ela kaba patina. Ela te te baba masha. Now. Take it, 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 take Ah, yeah, no, 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 now I release the fire upon you. I double the fire now. The gift of prophecy. How are you now? How are you now? Receive it. And let go in that shot. And let go in that call. And let go in that call. And let go in that call. And let go in that shot. 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 Men are called Ayo, take over. Jesus, take over. Ah, I see fire. Fire on people's leg. Fire on people's leg. Holy Ghost, take over. Fire on people's leg. Fire on people's leg. Fire. Ale le le makela ma. I cannot do it on my own. To the back. To the back. To the back. To the back. To the back, 
to the back, to the back, to the back, to the back. Unless you take over, please. If you are the gallery, move away from the railings. If you are the gallery, move away from the railings. Ala kada bashanda da, akate tata tata I aya te kopele mashana, rata tata nama. Shana. Ella mana. We cannot do we don't know. I see a mantle coming on you. I see a mantle coming on you. I see a mantle coming on you. A recopele shanda na. Now let that mantle rest upon you. I open you up to a new level, a new dimension, a new oppression. I think to Mekaya, take it. Holy Ghost, take over. Can I pray with you, sir? For an invasion of your spirit, an invasion of your spirit, an invasion of your spirit, an invasion of your spirit upon his life, an invasion of your spirit upon his life in the name of Jesus. Listen, listen, I don't have much time. I don't have much time. Please, have somebody at the back. Please, join your hands with somebody. I see a such a such of God's power in our midst. Join your hands with somebody. Join your hands with somebody on the road. Join your hands with somebody. Join your hands. Now, Lord, let the spirit of prophecy break out, break out, and I want you to speak to us, Lord. And let And Lord, as they are holding their hands right now, I ask from the first person. From the first person over here down to everybody now now let the spirit travel let it 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 travel to this side let it travel let it travel to the right to the right to the right to the right let the spirit let your power travel now to the middle let it travel let it travel let it travel and shut it up to the middle let it travel let your power travel let it travel let it travel let it travel and over to the left to the far back, to the far back. A shot to Capatina, a shot to Tenana, a shot to Panina, a shot to Protina. Let your power travel, let your fire travel, let your fire travel. I double the fire of the living God. I double the fire, 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 fire. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. For the people at the back, I bring to you the supply of the Spirit. If you can be open, the supply of the Spirit. Scripture says, I come not with the excellency of speech, but with the demonstration of power and the Spirit. So right now, for every one of you that can believe and trust this, I can receive this. The supply of the Spirit that will cause the change in your prayer life. I release it to you right now. Now receive it, receive it at the back. Over there, over there. Receive it at the back. Supply of the Spirit. An emergence of the Spirit. Supply of the Spirit to the far back. To the far back. To the far back. To the far back. Adonai manifest himself. It's becoming stronger in this place. 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 All over at the gallery, 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 at the gall
Please keep people away from the railings. Keep people away from the railings. Upon the choirs. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Upon the choirs, upon the choirs. Receive it. I shall take it to the nurse. Ayo, wait. Ayo, wait. I see what God wants to do. I see God carrying some people that by the wings of his spirit. Listen, this song you want to sing now is crude. But it's going to do something in your life now. Awa Oluwa. Ombe. Lobia. Yeo. Mateko Patisko. Ombe of Ombe of Ombe of Sari. Right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the spirit of the Lord came upon Elijah. And he had run the chariot of Oh, 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 yes, the spirit of the Lord over you, 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 Lord said I should tell you is, is restoring the days that the locusts and the kankan worm have eaten. Philip, Philip, the Lord is restoring the days that the locusts and the kankan worms have eaten. Susan, the Lord is fixing it right now. The Lord is fixing it right now. Susan, the Lord is fixing it right now. Father, we give you all the praise.